front office staff, we really took a lot of the brunt of the calls from the public. Um, they handled it with, with professionalism and patience, and I appreciate that. Other staff members um, all volunteered their different talents that they had um, to assist with the emergency. The fire department just took over the bottled water process, and um, the water department, of course, was very busy flushing hydrants and delivering water and um, the wastewater department helped with going to get all the bottled water. The police department took uh, after hour calls and of course the street department, community development, uh, everybody contributed to this all hands on deck situation. So I really, really appreciate that. Uh, I'm appreciative of the, the, the general authority and the city council members um, you kept yourself apprised of the situation and I appreciate that because then you can in turn help be messengers to the public that you know the more information we can get out there the better that's why I appreciate you doing that I'm very thankful this event did not occur during a drought because it could still be going on right now if we were in the middle of a drought we would still be pulling down water and flushing um, but just on a limited basis. So this could have lim lingered much longer. And um, lastly, I'm appreciative to the public who really, for the most part, weathered this whole situation with grace and understanding, and I really, really appreciate that. And all this being said, I can tell you, we are resolved to do whatever we need to do to improve things we need to improve on. Um, we'll be setting up rigorous maintenance and inspection routines where you know you still can't help it when equipment goes bad but we are going to try to take out any possibility that something won't get noticed until you know the next day or whenever we and everyone is resolved to do that so um, that's really all I wanted to say about that and just, I appreciate and I'm glad it's everyone. <laughs>